starting your live video. Yay, Facebook. Hey, guys. Hello. Y'all give me a hello as you hop in. This is, this is like in my face. Get out of my face. There. It was poking me in the head. It has been too long, you guys. And my lighting is horrible because, like, I'm at my desk desk. And my desk desk does not have a video set up. Well, like, lighting set up. So, we have these really weird shadows, and it's fine. We're just going to go anyway. Give me a hello when you hop in. I want you to say it. Type the word. Hi, hello, howdy, hey, hey. Whether you're live or coming back on replay, I want you to tell me hello. Tell me hello. This is a two-way conversation. Um, I've been doing a lot of coaching calls lately. You guys may have seen that I have opened up Unicorn Movement, which is unicornmovement.com. I have opened that up to industry-wide, non-company-specific um training you guys branding and and um social marketing and attraction marketing and i have been doing a lot of coaching calls a lot and i keep getting this underlying theme hey nova hey liz hello christy you guys feel free to give this a share into your team groups onto your pages anybody building a business could definitely use this and i always appreciate the shares i'll be sure to thank you hey megan thanks for the sh uh, the share michelle but this theme keeps coming back and back when I'm talking to people and I'm coaching them across this beautiful industry and there's this one struggle and it's unlearning bad habits. Unlearning bad habits. So let me tell you right now, a lot of us, well, let me be honest, all of us have had to unlearn bad habits. Nobody comes into this beautiful, I'll never say this industry again, this beautiful industry, nobody is born a professional, okay? So we all learn along the way, we fail forward, and we learn some bad habits that we have to let go of. And the biggest one is spam, and some people truly don't even realize that they're doing it right? We get this lazy leadership, this copy and paste world, this, um, you know, just do what I say and don't ask questions and go build, do this, go, 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 volume, 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 sell, sell, sales. And it's really hitting the brakes on some people's business. I can't. Thank you, Megan. It's, it's kind of messy right now. It is messy right now. It's fine. <laughs> it's a lot right now. Um, but it's putting, spam is putting the brakes on a lot of people's business. So I want you to do me a favor. So everybody, get your get your phones, get your computers, um, because this is going to be very very helpful. This is going to be an interactive class with Megan. Are you ready? What I want you to do is type up. Let me preface, guys. Don't use any product names. Don't use any companies. Don't call anybody out. We are better than that, okay? But I want you to type up a generic spam message that you have received before. Because I want, we're going to do it in an interactive, we're going to help each other learn because I think it's going to help a lot of our newest people that are coming in that maybe aren't even, they're not understanding yet the bad habits that they have. But if we can share together, we can kind of talk to the elephant in the room. So y'all do me a favor as I go forward, very politely, very lovingly, very generically, type out a spam, a spam message that you have received. Type it out. We all could. I've dropped some of mine. And guys, if you've sent me one of these, I'm saying this lovingly, and we're coming forward to learn together. But some of the ones I have received, and I'm, let me preface, what is spam? Spam is getting a message from someone that you've never talked to before, right? You're not friends. There is no relationship. They have never offered you value. They have never told you that they help you feel better when you're sick. <laughs> they have never offered you a glass of wine. They have never liked one of your pictures. You know what I mean. These people that you're just like, I forgot you were even on my Facebook. But some of the ones I've gotten, cold messages out of the blue were just, Hey girl, oh my gosh, your makeup is on point. Have you ever thought about making money on social media? Well, first of all, if we interacted at all, you'd see my timeline. We won't even go there. Another one that I love to get that just used to make me feel horrible is, oh my gosh, hey girl, I saw that picture that you did, that selfie with your favorite jeans. I have this amazing weight loss XYZ. Do they just call me fat? Do they literally just call me fat? They literally just called me fat. Are you kidding me right now? So we've never even talked, you spanned me and you called me fat? Oh my lord, you all. Or... Again, we've never talked. We've never talked. Hey, girl, oh, my gosh, I think you would be an amazing leader on my team. Have you ever considered the wonderful world of network marketing? 
again, had they spent any time to at least prep themselves and go into my timeline, these things would have been avoided. But here's what's happening. We have leaders out there in every company everywhere. So I'm not calling out a company. I'm not calling out a leader. This happens across the board. We have leaders out there going, oh my gosh, welcome to our team. I am so excited you joined us. I can't wait to see you hop into success. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to make a list of 100 names. Oh, you don't know 100 people? It's okay. Just go through your Facebook list. Just go through your Facebook list. It's fine. And I want you to send them this cut and paste message. Hey, blank. And it literally says blank. Hey, blank. I've just launched blah, 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 this long later link and send it to everybody. And guess what? You'll probably at least get two or three people ask you about it. And these people are so excited. These, yeah, hey girls get deleted. You're like, unless I know you're like that. And it's like, hey girls, and they get deleted. But these people are so excited and they're like, I just started this company. They said they have amazing training. I've never done this before. My leader's telling me to do this. Let me go and let me do it. And let me send these messages. And then let me get ignored. And let me get blocked. And let me get made fun of. And let me not hit the sales. And let me not hit my fast starts. And let me not grow a team. And let me not find the success I'm looking for. And yet I'm doing everything you said. I'm doing everything you said. Let's talk spam. Spam doesn't need to happen, you guys. Do not build your business in a, in, with a copy and paste situation. You will never stand out. You will never find success. You will never grow a team. You will never be duplicatable. You will never hit these huge goals that you're going for. You will be one of the majorly large percentage that leave my beautiful industry and you tell people this industry didn't work for me. This industry this industry is a scam. This industry just took my money. This industry you know what I'm talking about you're going to be one of those because you didn't build with integrity and with sustainability. Right? So let's go. Cold messaging. I don't care who tells you to do it. I don't care why they tell you to do it. I don't care if they tell you that they're a top guru and their exception is okay. There is no instance in this world where you will successfully build a six or seven or eight because it's a glass ceiling, you guys. There is no, there is no setup in the world where you are going to retire yourself called messaging people. It simply will not work. As a matter of fact, it will close the doors to your business quicker than anything. I don't care who tells you to do it. Don't do it. I don't care. <laughs> hurricane food. Yes. Oh, we're going to talk about the hurricane in a minute. Not really, but kind of. So I don't care. Cold messages are never hold on the husband's end. We're going to let him walk by. Oh, the dogs didn't bark. We're lucky. Cold messaging. Forget it. Don't do it. I don't care who told you to do it. You don't do it. You don't do it. I'm going to knock that off. Here's what, here's what you also don't do. You don't fill your timeline full of your company, your corporate images, your corporate um, Facebook, testimonials from other people, product pictures out the wazoo, corporate branding left and right, and forget who you are. You don't spam your timeline. So you can spam inboxes, but you can spam your timeline just the same. If somebody is telling you, okay, well, Arlita, Nicole, Christina, Dan, Kimberly, okay, what you need to do is you need to share three stories from our corporate page, you know, three times a day. You need to do that. And then you need to share four or five corporate graphics, you know, throughout the day. And maybe if you have time squeezing something for yourself. Guys, I don't even use corporate graphics. I don't. I don't. I'm not building my corporate's business. I'm building my business. You guys think about it. If you're sharing testimonials and stories and all of this from your corporate page, you are marketing for your company. You guys, you're an employee. You are marketing for your company. You are growing, you are growing their followers. You are growing their viewers. You are growing their customers that may or may not buy from you because now they've seen the corporate page and they can buy from anybody on there. Don't do it. Don't do it any time that you are told or it is, it is pushed, it is this or the whatever to share the corporate stuff. You're not growing your business. They have no concern over your future business. Their concern with you is while you were making them money. That is harsh, but that is true. You are building your business. You are building your business. And let me, I'm going to put the brakes on this for one second. Why am I telling you this? Little backstory. Don't worry. It's not a plug. We had a, um, 
a call, a live, whatever you want to call it, with our CEO with some changes where they were doing some things for our company. And one of the things that they're rolling out is some software for our back office. Um, for our customer, you know, where all your customer information, you know, if you have a business, you have somewhere in your back office, whatever, where all of your custom, uh, customer information is. And nine times out of 10, companies own that. Companies are like, you leave, we lock you out of your green room, your back room, your back office, we lock you out of your business office and you will not have access to these people, they're ours. You brought them to us, bye bye. Now we're going to continue to market to them. I'll use Tyra Banks as an example because I still get marketing from that woman and I never once bought from her, I bought from a friend, sorry, rants. Anywho, our beautiful CEO is, is integrating software to where we can export our contacts because she realizes that your contacts, you all, your contacts, the business partners that you are growing, the customers, the business partners, the people who join you, right? They are your business. They are not your company's business. And it's very rare to find that in this industry. You need to con con you know, protect your list with everything you've got. That is your gold. These are people who have trusted you and invested in you and they will go where you go, right? So that's just a little aside. And that's kind of what sparked this today because the company that I came from, the minute you say you're leaving, you're locked out because they own your people. Okay, so we talked. No cold messaging. No timeline spamming. No marketing for your corporate company. You are marketing yourself. You are branding. Hi, Angela. You are branding yourself. You are growing your business. You just happen to be attached to an amazing company or product. Okay? Okay. 100s list. I've already said this a bazillion times, don't do it. If your leader tells you to sit down and make a list of 100, run. Run. Just just run. Maybe before you even join a leader, just ask them you know, if they do that. Just run. What does that tell you? It tells you that they don't have the tools necessary to tell you how to truly build organically a business that is yours and flourishing and 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 viable and authentic and income producing hundreds lists don't do it it's the same thing as spam what they're telling you is how many names can you think of that might turn into a dollar sign there was no relationship there there is zero relationship building there. So your leader has just told you how many names do you know that has some money that might can turn into a sale. They don't care who they are. Don't do it. I am going to, I'm not going to use a company name on this one, but this is another form of spam that some of you probably don't even think about. So I wanted to put it out there. I won't use the company name. And if you know the company name or you've seen these graphics, don't, don't type. Because more than likely, um, you'll see this used in other ways. Don't ever, ever, ever follow suit with your company or someone in your company or, or funny wording to market your business on the back of a national internet, of a natural disaster that is affecting, oh my gosh, tens of hundreds of thousands of people. It's not class. It's not sustainability. And again, it goes back to lazy leadership. If there's wording that matches your product, that matches, for example, a hurricane headed to uh, Florida, don't use that. Don't use that, okay? Let's just don't use that. I'm going to use an example. Let's pretend like there is a, and there's not, I'm going to make this really, let's pretend like there is a gold colored lipstick out in the world that somebody markets. And the name of that gold colored lipstick is Susie. Don't put a picture of Hurricane Susie headed towards Florida and say, if you can guess the city where Hurricane Susie lands, hits landfall, and destroys homes and lives and all of this, you're going to get a free lipstick. Don't do it. And yes, it is happening. It is absolutely happening. And why is it happening? Because people aren't thinking out of the box. They're following lazy leadership. They're not thinking out of the box. They're not thinking long term. They're thinking short term. They're thinking spamming their, their you know, spamming their timelines, spamming the cold messages. Don't do it. Don't do it. All right. So what I want you guys to do and I want you to look at, you need to be doing and using and implementing attraction marketing. And again, I'm not going to go into it right now into this slide because it is a, it's it's a bit, it's a bunch. It's a new skill set to learn. But I do want to invite you into my non my non-company specific um industry-wide coaching 
grape that I've just opened. This week we are focusing on your personal branding and then the next course, the next master course that I am unrolling is going to be attraction marketing. So if you have had these bad habits, if spam has, you're like crawling your skin's crawling going, oh my God, I did that. Oh my gosh, I do that. Oh my, and you didn't know it's okay. Come hop in and come join us. Um, we're going to be finishing up this master class. You know, this this week we'll be done with the branding, right into attraction marketing. It's a perfect time. Come get in here, um, learn some things, get in, in a community with so many amazing leaders and people on the same journey as you. You know, I love to share share stories and learn from each other. So if you want to be added, definitely comment um, here in the comments. Comment below. Um, add me. I want to be in. All that fun stuff. But watch. Do me a favor. Watch the comments because I'm going to come drop the link to. Because as I add too many people, Facebook's like, slow down, pump the brakes, and you know, and it, and it, it puts you in jail. So I'm going to drop the link, and you can hop that way too. In the meantime, you can always follow my leadership blog at unicornmovement.com. Unicornmovement.com has a lot of my leadership things, and I'm transposing even more. I'm putting more of my master classes up there for you guys as we complete them in the class. So I'm just really excited. I'm going to get out of here. Let's keep the spam in the cans where, where it belongs. For those of you that think it's yummy. Okay. Mm. For those of you who think it's yummy, you go for it. Oh, it just makes me nauseous thinking about it. The rest of us are just going to keep it in the can and on the shelves and all that fun stuff. All right, I am going to get out of here. You guys have an amazing day, and we'll talk soon. Bye, guys.